Ladies and gentlemen, as is the time-honored tradition in this great nation of ours, if you would uncover, take off your hats, place your hand over your heart if you so desire, our national anthem. Opening ceremonies have been completed. I've gone through, got my pictures, got a lot of video. It's about time for me to hit the road to Riverside. So let's uh, walk on out of here looking at some Ferraris. What do you say? Is that good to go? Before we go right here, this point here is one of 200. That's almost two million dollars, one point eight. The name. It's the only one uh, here, the only one in the states, I believe, at this point, point in time. Just as many Joneses and Smiths as you see in the United States phone books across the country. Does get a lot of attention. It is extremely repetitive in all the Italian phone books. And the name Ferrari sits very high. This is a racing Ferrari. Since. The Italian manufacturers of the Ferrari reluctantly built. Now, if you uh, saw my post, you see what consumers and not racers. So, what uh, amazingly fast automobiles and really one in 200 look like. I want to see what the Ferrari 8 million looks like. That was actually that was 8 million right here. The reputation for racing Ferrari. excellence made Commendatore Ferrari and his Ferrari automobile better known throughout right the past 50 years than the current Pope. He's a very high profile. He's right alongside Coca-Cola, obviously being well known worldwide. And today, Pasadena is the place for Ferrari's first classic gathering. A city whose rich history dates back. Well, it dates back to 12 years before Ferrari was even born. In uh, 1886, when a Dr. Elliot, Dr. Tom Elliot, Thomas Elliot, proposed that the Chippewa Indian words to name this area were uh, the crown of the valley, or were they going to call it the 
key of the valley, or would it be best known as the hill of the valley? Anyway, all these phrases ended in of the valley or legendary back then as our city is today downtown LA finally Ferrari and Pasadena though joined hands to embrace the entrepreneurial skills of our legendary Angela Ferrari and managed to fulfill the dream of those who fathered the uh, elegance and sophistication of the fair city of Pasadena and Mara Blandon and Wally Clark of the event founder and chairman Marv and Wally, the chief judge, together with a, uh, a, a fairly substantial list of uh, early presidents, including Judge Goldfelder, who started the club uh, as president back in 1994, some 24 years ago. And then Tom Brockmiller took over as president, followed by Wally Clark, who is still putting on the the uh, the hard part, together with Tom Brock Miller and uh, Marv Landon and uh, Murray Kogan and Walter Meyer, Doug Christine and Tex Otto have all been presidents of the Ferrari Club of America in our region, together with Diane Peterson, Peter Carnegie, Bruce Lewis, Kenny Bombino. Uh, if you're, any one of you or all of you here are delighted to share uh, praise and appreciation for what you do, what you do for all of us for free, because you get to share the finest whistling blue pointed top of the stack in terms of incredible automobiles all ganged up here and uh, on display to join them. One of the most spectacular uh, cars that. Uh, we're going to look at initially is Michael and uh, Katarina Leventhal's uh, 166 mm Ferrari, which is we just saw. Well, it has her name on it, and uh, that makes it easy. It says Leventhal on it. Now there were seven of these uh, 166 mm touring seven. Berlinettas, and. Five of them were Le Mans racing cars. In fact, that model won Le Mans together with the Thousand Miles of Italy, the Mille Emilia. And uh, that tremendous success speaks well for the car, which in this case is very well documented with its racing career. Uh, built by Carrozzeria Touring, the uh, manufacturing facility or design facility in uh, Touring in Milan. And that's just one of 150 fine automobiles here today. I don't know where you're at, but it's pretty warm here in Pasadena. I think we're finally getting some spring weather.
Personally, I admire these cars, they're nice, I love to own one, they're worth a lot of money, but you can buy them, I mean, well, in most cases, but a classic car, hot rod, you kind of got to create them. Being from a small town and six miles north of New York City, we didn't have a lot of this wealth. If you saw a car like this, it was a doctor and attorney out here in Southern California. We're all over the place. see some concourse cars let's get her done thanks for joining in Dan Vision Dan Alive we're out <laughs>